Hi, how's it going guys? Barry here again, slapping you guys with another UMG TDM versus TS, and Sora is back. <laughs> I mean, this video is about, I think, about um, a week and a half, 10 days old, but um, yeah, I was really excited to play against Sora. Um, I don't even know why I was excited to play against him, <laughs> but I was. Um, anyways, this episode is going to be... Um, <clears throat> It's going to be like an update episode for, for things to come on this channel and kind of like a commentary on this match. So, um, but what I mean is update from things to come is, as you guys know, ladder is about to finish any time. So as soon as it does, I'm going to put up the brackets and then uh, me and Squid are going to be doing some analysis videos. Like we used to do back in Calebra, which was, well, we only got two of them done and then I, I don't know what happened after that we we should have done more but um, because the community was really enjoying it and we never did so uh, I always wanted to do a video like that as well but I think now we have a perfect chance the community is growing a lot of people do watch my channel and hopefully a lot of them will watch it even more once we do the analysis video talking about all the teams the, all the brackets um, I'll even put up a little bracket challenge for you guys whoever predicts the right winner of the playoffs and has most accurate uh, uh, predictions about all the final matches. I'll give away like a twenty or a forty dollar PSN card, whatever it is, just to just to uh, spice things up so few, uh, people can uh, people can feel more immersed into the into the brackets analysis discussion and all that good stuff. So um, the reason why I particularly uploaded this, uploaded this uh, match was because I myself is a um, I am a I was a Gmail player, like I used to love Gmail. Even even after it was nerfed, I think it was still a pretty good a pretty good gun. And in this game, my aim was on fleek. Like, dude, I was surgical with it. Like, if you get some of this shit, like I two burst people across the map. Um, a lot of times, people um, they don't use it that much. But if if you if you use it smartly and on a good map that's really tactical, you have to kind of hold down the spawns and sights. I mean. It's I I freaking love Gmail. I'm not as good as it. I'm not as good with it as I used to be in the past. But uh, but still, I mean, look at this shit, dude. He gets too clean bursted across the map. Like, oh my god. Um, I just love playing uh, in train wreck with Gmail. It's just awesome. I I feel like it's better than Sniper. Well, for me at least, because uh, Sniper has a lot of recoil, and I don't like how instantly it's just uh, it zooms in. So. If you have a good aim with the Gmail, you can. I feel like it's it does more damage with the more damage in compared to sniper, and it's a really good support weapon as well. Because if you basically connect one burst with them, they're basically like two or three shots to death. So it's a really good support weapon. Um, I would like to see a lot more people use it, but they do not because obviously M9 is more of a the best gun in the game. Let's put it that way. Um, the most dominant weapon in this game right now. So I don't blame them. And uh, Back, uh, getting back to this gameplay, as you guys can see, we are up by 12 to 6, about 12 minutes left. And I'm, I'm trying to make this video short, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fast forward this little little segment right here where I'm not getting any kills. And there you guys have it. Uh, again, 3v3, there's not really much to explain or talk about tactically, because in my opinion, 3v3s are completely, utterly, positively, definitely... <laughs> whatever um, I think you guys got an idea what I'm trying to say um, in my opinion and I think a lot of people share the same opinion as well that uh, spawns in 3v3s are more than likely random about 70% of the time um, it's, it just does not even make sense a lot of times that's why I hate playing 3v3 OBJs plunders or TDMs the only time we do play 3v3s is when we have like no like when no one would play us we have like no game at all then we play 3v3s I'm sure why not but um we like to play 4v4s because uh all the playoffs, all the tourneys, all the tourneys that have been in the past, they always have a standard format of 4v4 players, which is ideal in my opinion because 5v5 is too crowded on the maps that Uncharted currently has. And 3v3s with 3 second spawn is just too much of a clusterfuck, dude. Like, you, you kill someone, by the time they hit the fucking floor, they spawn within a second. So, like, they're not... It's... I don't know, maybe it's just me, a lot of people do like that fast paced action, but when I play games, I like to, I like it to be fast paced, but at the same time, um, tactically as well, I mean, I don't know, I'm really big on tactics and strategies, so, uh, and 3v3 just like completely nullify that, so that's just one of the reasons why I don't like it, and, um, as you guys can see, like, 
there's so many nasty turn-ons. Like, look at this. I was not missing. <laughs> I, I did not care who I had in front of me, and uh, I was just connecting all my shots, and I was oh, just killing them. If you guys are curious as to what my sensitivity for this was, I usually use five sensitivity with uh, Gmail because you need you do need to have like a little bit higher sensitivity than you used M9 because you need to uh, move around with the reticle, try to aim at them. And a lot of people like using Fleetfoot with the Gmail, but I do not. If I use because again, when back in the day when I did used to like about a year ago, a year and a half ago when we used to play um, UMGs and Fragmations, um, I loved to use Cloaked in team death matches. So what happened was after I used Cloaked in TDMs for like a year, um, I just got so used to the movement without Fleetfoot that I, whenever I go back to Fleetfoot, I cannot aim for Jack. Like, I, it's just impossible for me to aim. It's just a personal preference, so I like to use either Cloaked or Scoped in, uh, Scoped in 3, instead of Fleetfoot. So, uh, it kind of depends on your playstyle, how you like to move around, so, um, it could be different from person to person. Um, if you guys are wondering, the only boost, the only, um, mod attachment that I do use on Gmail is uh, accuracy. A lot of people say that accuracy has no, like, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't have any effect on people. Wrong. Like, you're completely wrong. For someone who's used Gmail religiously for, like, um, ever since this game came out, honestly, you won't notice the difference with accuracy on Gmail if you are shooting someone medium range or close range. But I tell you what, long range it's a whole different story like if you try any if you try a gmail um just like a roman's gmail elena's gmail flynn's gmail long range trying to hit targets and then you try to hit the same target with the gmail that has accuracy on you'll spot the difference um because predominantly what the nerf that naughty dog came up with that uh kind of nerfed gmail in uh, all together was they added recoil to the third bullet of the second of, of, of your burst. So essentially first two first two bullets would not really have that much of a recoil, but the third um, but the third uh, bullet in the burst it kicks your weapon up. But what I believe what happens with the Gmail is you don't notice the kick in medium range, but when you're shooting um, long range, that's when you feel that there is no um, and right over there I just get milk because uh, I was not using uh, I was not using reload speed. <laughs> But um, anyway, back to my point. If you use accuracy on Gmail on long range, that third bullet doesn't kick up enough. Maybe it's just me. That's just how I prefer it. A lot of people prefer. Uh, a lot of people do prefer uh, reload speed or blind fire accuracy as well. But um, I do not. Like I said, it's personal preference. And so I just shot him just clean through the fucking wall. I mean the rock, like clean. And I think he's gonna challenge that Sora. He always challenges like the most stupidest pl uh, spots and places. And do I kill him? I think of course I do. I do so about this game. I mean, even though I'm head coaching, <laughs> I don't care. Um, this is the first time I'm corner shooting this whole match. Um, 36 to 25. Um, with with the, with the the playstyle you guys can see, we weren't really trying as hard because you'll never see us run around and move around as freely as we are in this particular match as compared to all the other teams that we play against uh, I mean just take examples um, these, these, are, these are the spawns I'm talking about it's a terrible spawn um, you guys if, if you guys have seen my video against uh, blue and three tiers or like any past TDM videos you you'd like we like to play strategically we like to control the map but um, and I actually got the long ranger medal with <laughs> Gmail only that was pretty awesome Five minutes left. Um, in my opinion uh, <clears throat> But uh, what was I think? I think I lost my train of thought. Yes, um, we were actually running around a lot because we were, we were actually enjoyed. Uh, because uh, obviously, TS used to be one of the premier teams in season four and season five on Frag Nation. They were actually, if, 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 if people don't know, which was the first team to win hundred competitive matches in Frag Nation slash UMG. Yep, it was, it was TS. I still remember the whole community was in shock. They had over 100 wins and like about 30 or 40 losses, I think. So that was actually a really big deal two years ago because the most teams, the most the teams would ever play would be about 60 or 65 or 70 wins. Uh, a few of you folks who watch my channel, if you guys, uh, 
if you guys do remember those Frag Nation days, you guys will know what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. But all of a sudden, this one season, they just exploded. They're, they were a really good OBJ team. Um, Plunder was one of their best game modes, and they had like a really weird style that they played Plunder, and I just get destroyed over here. Um, no excuses, I just got melted. Anyways, uh, they were a really good plunder team. They would, they had such a weird playstyle as well. They would never outslay you, and you would kill them by over 20, 30 kills, and they would always win plunder like 5-1, like 6-1, like against like all the good teams as well. Um, they only beat us like a couple times. Actually, one of the games we had against them, I'm not going to spoil much to you guys, but I might upload it because it was one of the craziest comebacks. I know you guys have already seen the comeback that we had against... Uh, against you dying PDM Temple. But wait until you see this comeback that I'm about to post in a few days. If I if I uh if I have time after making the bracket uh, doing the video podcast is good and all that stuff. Um but I do guarantee you that match is gonna blow your mind away. It is it's just absolutely crazy. And look at these spawns. I mean <laughs> Um, I know it's train wreck. Train wreck does have weird spawns, but that stuff more than likely wouldn't have wouldn't have happened in 4v4. They would have spawned them by the rocks or on the opposite base. Um, anyways, again, um, I'm about to wrap this video up. Just a short little video, um, kind of updating you guys about what's what's to come this weekend. Uh, most likely, what I'm gonna do is I'll I'll make the I'll make the brackets tomorrow. Um, whenever the season finishes it's, it's, it, it can finish like the ladder can close at any time and then as soon as I make the brackets me and Squid do plan on doing a competitive corner and analysis of the of the whole bracket and then uh, we'll explain more things as we go so um, here you guys have it our match against TS um, if you guys enjoyed the video just uh, hit thumbs up and uh, so actually had a pretty decent game and uh, I will see you guys next time when I upload the analysis videos. Until then, peace.